Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is it's me. It's Deborah Kagan. <laughs> We're here for your mojo moment. And um, I am tuning in from a remote location today. And uh, but of course, I'm here to share with you. These are tips, information, inspiration, tools, and um, most importantly, things you can use in your life right away to keep yourself rocking your mojo most of the time. And I say most of the time, which you'll have to check another, uh, an older live because uh, it is most of the time, not all the time. Um, so welcome. Today, I want to share with you, you know, short and sweet, but yet very powerful, which is to ask you this question. Are you lying to yourself? Are you lying to yourself? And I would venture to guess if you're human, <laughs> which I believe that you are, um, I would venture to guess that you are lying to yourself because we all lie to ourselves um, on a regular basis, actually. And it's, um, I don't know, it might actually be an epidemic, frankly. Um, and I'm bringing it up because it's, I think, incredibly important for all of us. And when we do lie to ourselves, we uh, literally reduce the amount of mojo that is possible for us, uh, you know, for you to have, um, because when you lie to yourself, then you are living out of more fear and doubt and worry, um, rather than your confidence and your power and your pleasure. When we're in confidence, power, and pleasure, we're living more in turn on, which is, of course, in a place that is where you are rocking your mojo. Now, let's talk about lying to ourselves. See, we lie to ourselves because there are thoughts that we'll have. And these thoughts will say, eh, I don't know if you can really do that. Or, hmm, I don't know if you're smart enough. Or if you have what it takes. Or if you're, you know, uh, have, uh, you know, pretty enough. Or if you have enough money. Or if you have, um, you know, the right degree. Or did you grow up in the right place? Whatever it might be, right? The less than part. See, that's lying to yourself because while your circumstances might show you a particular situation, we're all enough, right? We're whole and complete. So anything less than that is a big old lie. Um, the other, you know, lies that we tell ourselves all the time are things around time or things around, uh, again, resources. You see, a lot of times we'll cheat ourselves from, from having uh, support, we'll cheat ourselves from having um, certain experiences because we don't think we have the right resources the moment that we want the experience or the support or whatever thing, right? Now I'm talking about when you need to uh, utilize money for something. But the fact of the matter is we're all extremely resourceful. And so your resourcefulness will get you the resources you need for whatever it is that you have a desire for. And again, anything less than that, you're lying to yourself. Um, you know, I could go on and on and on about how we lie to ourselves. And it's sneaky and it's insidious and it happens all the time. So today is a bit of a quickie and yet it's also incredibly crucial that you get and you start to become aware of all of the times that you lie to yourself and start just catching yourself in the lie and once you catch yourself in the lie you'll be able to begin to choose different thoughts you'll be able to shift your actions you'll be able to put yourself in the circumstances and the situations and around the people that will be true to what your desire is. And when you do that, you're not lying to yourself anymore. You might question, you might wonder how things could speed up a little bit more. You, uh, you know, you might feel moments of confusion. The most important thing is that you stop lying to yourself. You got to stop lying to yourself. And I'm saying this to you just as much because it's something I tell myself all the time. Um, so this is your mojo moment for the day and what your, uh, your mission, should you cho cho so choose to accept it, is to write in the comments below. Let me know what have you been lying to yourself about? Like, in the last 24, 48 hours. What have you been lying to yourself about? Go ahead and own up to it. 
Because again, once you own up to it, you have awareness, and now you can step into your truth. So go ahead and put that in the comments below. I am here.